Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how to do the two cornrows or boxer braids, Dutch braids. Let me know in the comments below what you call them. But we're going to do two of them side by side. They're great for sports, brilliant. We did them lots over the holidays. First thing I've done is I've sprayed her hair with some water and I'm going to get her perfect parting right down the center. Now the way that I do that is I face her, I get her to look up at me, beautiful, see where her nose is, and then I just literally go up from her nose. I'm going to use my comb, I've got a link to um, where I get my comb from in the comment, in the description. And there's also a link so you can get a discount if you wanted to get one of these combs. And I'm gonna use this comb just to get that first section of the parting done. So I go from her nose up and over. And then, so I'm doing it in three parts. So I have one section, the next section, the next section. So the next part of parting the hair is I take my fingers in her ears, just there. I get my thumbs, and where the thumbs meet is the center of the, her head. So I go to the end of where I've just parted, and I come down to my thumb. So now I've done the second third of my parting. And then, oh, we're just going to double check that. I feel like I've gone slightly wobbly. Let's do it again. I can see with my eye that that's went a bit wobbly. There we go, that's much better. Okay, and then you've got like a little dip in the neck here. So I can just feel that in there, there's like a little bit of a dip in the neck. So if I put my finger in the dip, go to where that last parting has finished, go down to my finger, it went over a little bump in your head then, and then if I go to meet my fingertip, I get the perfect parting. Now, my little girl's got lots and lots of these little baby hairs, and I do find it's easier to braid when her hair's slightly damp. And I also really prefer to use a comb to pick up a piece that make find that makes it a lot neater. I'm going to begin by taking a really small slice at the front, okay? I'm going to separate it into three pieces. And I always start with the hairline first. So when we do this braid, we're going to go under each time. Every time we're going under, we're going to take the outside strands, here are the two outside strands, here and here, they're always going to go into the center strand. But the center strand is going to keep changing every time we move an outside strand under the center strand. You then get a new outside, a new center strand. So I'm going to start with my outside strand going under the center strand. Now you'll notice how I'm holding the hair. So I'm holding the hair like so. I've got my hands with my knuckles facing up, the palms of my hands are facing down and I can easily transfer the hair from one hand to the other by walking my fingers across. You can see how they're separated by my fingers, like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this section, I'm going to take it under the center section. I'm going to take this side here near the parting under the center section. So that is my first stitch complete, okay? Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some more hair. I'm going to just add some more hair to this section just here. So I'm going to scoop it up, drop that section into it. So I've now got one section all together. So I've got my original piece with my new hair. I'm going to take both of them together under that centre section. I'm going to hold on to that, um, to the outside strand now, hold on to the middle strand and then come over so this hand is now completely free. I can use my fingers on the centre section a lot easier because I'm not picking up baby hairs. So I'm going to get this new piece of hair, combine it with this outside strand, so they're now combined together, and I'm going to take them both under the centre strand. Walk them back over to this side, this side, this side. So now this hand is free. I'm going to come back to my comb and on this outside strand I'm going to add some more hair to it so drop that strand into it by combing it all through I get a nice section of hair 
I'm going to take both of those pieces together under the center strand, walk my fingers across and across, I'm going to come over here, pick up more hair, add them to that outside strand, and then together, they're going to both go under the center strand, like so. And you can see we're starting to make this cornrow just here, this Dutch braid. So I'm going to come back, add some more hair, hold them together, take them both under that set, center section. Add more hair to the outside strand, combine them together, take them under that center section. Okay, so I'm just going to keep doing that now and I'm going to speed up this next part of the process until we get down to the ear. So I can show you the next thing that we need to be really careful of when we are doing the stitches around the ear. Okay, so you can see that we've got these stitches. I'm making them go down the center of this half of the hair. And now I've got the ear. So now, so far I've been taking my sections bit by bit, about a centimeter width each way. If I keep doing that all the way down, I'm going to end up with a saggy braid and it's going to end up braiding higher than the hairline. I want to braid all the way down nicely to the shape of her head. So because obviously the head is like a curved shape, I'm now going to take my slices from the ear. I'm going to keep going from the ear several times before I then go a bit lower. Now on this parting section, obviously because this is the wider part, these sections are going to be a lot wider, okay? So from the ear, it's going to be very, you're going to keep going from the same place, but you are going to be moving down the centre part of the head. So I'm going to get my comb again, I'm going to go back from the ear and take another piece of hair, combine it, take both of them under that piece. Now as I'm going further down the head, I'm starting to be higher than the braid. I always need to be braiding in the way that I'm going, so it's going to be so much easier if I either get my little girl to stand up so she's taller, or if I kneel down. So you've got the choice. So I tend to go down because I like to be able to, I like to be, um, well, I like to keep her comfortable and um, I just find it's much easier just to go on my knees myself. Now, now I'm down here, I don't really need to use the comb so much because there's not so many baby hairs. So I can just pick the hair up really easily just with my fingers. And you'll notice that every time I take the hair and I go under the center section, I do a little tug. Okay, so now I am almost at the neck. The braid is curving beautifully around her head. Now I'm here. This bit of the hair now, I'm just gonna take all of that together. I'm going to go give it a little bit of a tug, take the last piece from the centre, give it a little bit of a tug again and then from here I'm going to be really careful, I'm almost sort of twisting, turn around, I'm almost like twisting the hair to really lock those braids nice and tightly to her neck sort of really rotating my hand around to get those stitches nice and tight like that and then when you think you've got enough you've gone far, far enough away from the neck you can stand back up again and then you can finish that braid and then from this point I do tend to turn my hands over and I'm braiding a lot more a different way so I just keep my knuckles to the ceiling when I'm braiding to keep my hand, if I keep my hands as close to the head as possible, just keeps the braid nice and tight. And as I'm going, I'm just keeping the stitches still with my thumb. So as I cross under, I'm using my other thumb to stop the hair from unraveling, to keep it tight. Because if we keep, if this bit goes a bit loose, it's going to kind of gradually get loose all the way up the head. Okay, so I've just finished that one off with a very small elastic because as you get lower down the hair, the, the hair is not as thick. So a little elastic looks a little bit neater than a great big chunky bobble, but it's up to you what you finish with. You could finish with a bow or a ribbon, whatever you like. Okay, so I'm gonna do the next side now. 
Right, so I've just got her off of her chair for a moment, just so she's tall enough so you can see the ends of her hair. To make sure that the hair, so that you're finishing them at the same place, if you bring the braids together, you can see where this one is finished. If you bring them together, then you can get them to be as symmetrical as possible. Same. And then there you go. There is the perfect tutorial for learning how to do these boxer braids. I mean, they are gorgeous, aren't they? Look how lovely they are. They just look amazing and they're perfect for sport. And also, if you braid damp like I do, sleep in the, wear them for the day, sleep in them. The next day you have brilliant, brilliant waves. And if you want the waves to kind of take away the frizz a bit, use a little bit of argan oil, just rub it in your hands and then just smooth it through or a little bit of frizz serum just to take the frizz out of the way, the, the hair, and it's beautiful, beautiful hair. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you really, if you enjoyed it, it'd be great to show your appreciation by just giving us a like, leaving us a comment, and um, we'll see you next time. So take care, bye.